there is like one term that I'm going to mention to you just based on like, this is the reason why I had to submit the URL to like be re-indexed mm -hmm. and that's micro formats. Oh, all right. So can we talk about like, are they oh, still yeah. a thing? Like I haven't really had to do a lot of SEO optimization mm -hmm. for a while. And like I knew micro formats were such a huge thing because let's say you've got a product page and it has reviews on it and you yeah. want to show the little stars and like all of that kind of rich content. Yeah. And and every time I made a tweak and we deployed, I would have to then submit to get recrawled and see like if you know the yeah, results got yeah. more rich. And that was definitely like a very slow feedback cycle. Yes, so like, yes. what is the state? Like, is microformat still a thing? And like, mm -hmm. are there better resources out there right now for us to be able to pull that rich content out? I'm gonna be product? very happy. On we have much better things. So they're they're, they're still a thing. They're okay. now called structured data, and structured we are using uh, JSON LD, so like JSON for linked data. Yeah, this um, is all, this is all new terms to me. Right, you mm -hmm. probably use like literally the mic microdata um, attributes in yes. HTML. Yes, yep, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we were using um, them, and they were very hit and miss. Yes, it was yes. very easy to just like yes. mess up one tiny thing, and the yeah. validator didn't catch it, and yeah. then you, it, the stars would disappear. Yeah, and, and, like, and <gasps> we have moved on from there. So okay, that's great. Now schema.org is a is an open source uh, organization where people can submit or discuss or change or like. Do stuff with semantic data that they want to want to put on the web, and Got Google it. is participating. There's much more semantic data out there that we are than we are supporting in search results, but a bunch of it is supported in search results. So, for nice. instance, if you have like an event mm -hmm. that we want to have showing up with like the location, oh, yeah. and if you can like get tickets and who's the performer and all that kind of stuff. If you have a recipe where you might have a have an Im uh, an image or the instructions on how to make it or the time it takes to make it and reviews how nice this this recipe might be, um, articles, books, TV series. All sorts of things. We have documentation on that specifically as well. If you go to developers.google.com slash search, you find uh, all the supported types and they show up nicely in the search results. So you get like a little preview picture and then you get the stars oh, and all that kind of stuff. This would have been amazing. It's fantastic. Yeah. And it's JSON. Which it's is so much tag easier. With JSON in it. It's so much easier. It's just like not little like meta Correct. attribute things. Yes. Yeah. So you have like your JSON blob. And we have what's called the structured data testing tool that is a little dated by now, but it supports. Generally, basically everything that we know of uh, okay. shows up as either valid or invalid. Uh, and then we have the rich results test. Because the structured data test, while being very generic, is also not very specific to what you want to achieve. You want to probably achieve the nice little stars showing up in the search <laughs> results. Right. This is what we call rich results. Mm -hmm. And there's the rich results test for it. And that even gives you a preview of how that might look like in the search results. There's no guarantee that it does look like that in the search results because people have been using it to like spam stuff. Like, yeah, true. I have a bazillion reviews, and they're like, yeah, you just like have some JavaScript generating fake reviews. That's not really. Well, how do how do you actually like use the tool? Because I remember you used to have to dump your entire HTML file in there. You don't. And you then if you did it too many times, out. you got like. Timed out. Right. Yeah. That doesn't happen anymore. Oh, okay. And you That's can, so you have two options. You can okay. dump a, a URL in it, which is nice. And you can even use like ngrok or something if you oh, have a local. local host. Yes, oh, you can like this local. Is very fancy. Or or you can even also still do like you dump your HTML in there. <laughs> uh, we execute the JavaScript. So if you're using JavaScript within that code dump, that's fine. We're oh, running it. Yes. Okay. And you can like basically live debug as you type. You press a button and it goes like nope, and you're like, oh damn it, and, and you get like the feedback <laughs> here. And it's like missing performer for your event. I'm like, okay, sorry, sorry, and you write it in, and then it, it reruns it, and you're like, okay, cool, this is what I want, and then you can take it back to your. That editor. is awesome. And um, yeah, we have that tool. We have Search Console that gives you like a live view mm -hmm. of what happens on your page. Also for micro, uh, sorry, for structured data. <laughs> yeah, micro data is not that much of a thing, but. Uh, the structured data is still going strong. Oh, it sounds like it's come a long way. That's very exciting. It does. If I if I'm ever working for a large retailer <laughs> ever again, then, then if you have I a blog like <laughs> at the article markup, you might get. Oh, nice so okay. I'm gonna look at the schema for that. That would be like author and stuff. And other sources might pull the data as well, right? It's it's an open source format, so mm, theoretically, mm -hmm. voice assistants could use it as well. So just imagine if you have a, like a recipe blog. Um, and then you, you stand in the kitchen and go like, hey, assistant thing, whatever it is, whatever company you're, you're, you're choosing, there's like a variety of options these days, right? And then the thing goes like, yeah, Martin's apple pie, uh, first step, take some apples and peel them. And you're like, oh, OK, fair enough. Uh, you know, that can come from the structured data as well. So that's pretty cool. That is really cool. I didn't, know, I didn't even think of those use cases. I just always thought about the specials. <laughs>